<laughs> it's 19 <laughs> feet long. You're like, the smallest one is half the size of the biggest one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's telescopic. I get it. Oh, that's like, funny. <laughs> yeah, like some computer chips based on like fra- they have like fractal patterns to them. So we use it in technology. We can see it in nature and in the mathematics. And then the theory of the fractal universe is something we're going to get right to right after this break because we had a predis- predisposed time to break right now. Yes. We'll be right back. We're back. All right. We're, we've been talking about f- fractal patterns as we know them on earth through you know nature and our mathematics and whatnot. But then what if you start zooming way out? You got solar systems grouped into galaxies grouped into the universe all seemingly similar enough they look the same i mean for the most part all suns kind of look the same uh how stuff orbits so like some people say like how just just the orbit of just the orbit of like gravitational orbits is fractal you got solar systems and they go up and they all wrote and then you all have all your stars rotating around some central massive black hole and at the edge of the ring of the galactic cluster there's like some dark energy that seems to keep it spinning but keep stuff away and if you zoom out from there and there and there you get to the one that's like pretty famous you've probably seen the picture or the a video of it where it compares like neurons of the brain to what we've mapped of portions of our galaxy at least and they kind of look the same so at that point you go is the fractal pattern just galactic and kind of like never ending like we live inside a fractal and the greater version of this universe is a fra- part of another fractal and every particle on the way up and down is part of its own fractal universe and they're all operating for infinite forever it's just i mean it's just another version of infinite infinity it's the same as like simulation theories if we're a simulation who made us who made them <laughs> and where does it stop It, again, I can't help, <laughs> but like the only thing that comes to mind when I get into this and I like my brain starts going is that I can't get away from the fact that it reminds me so much of like this, like, like video game, like us creating these virtual digital universes, right? And getting better and better at it. And it's like, will we get to a point where, you know, characters in this so you, you know we're already kind of getting that you're playing classic games with your characters in the games right like you on you know like you, in some of these games you have arcades and stuff of old classic games like we're getting to a point where it's like you're seeing it fractal like that we have games within games so could that expand to where you know we're just <clears throat> another created digital universe that's now beginning to toy with creating ours and that's the simulation theory that's right? case file 52 Right, and, that, and that's, that's where we like, went on that one. Infinite each way, right? But yeah, and that's but that's the fractal portion of like the the idea of that is that on the comp- most complex scale of it, we are now creating like the next fractal, basically as it's like opening up, kind of. If you, that makes sense, we're create. Yeah, we're just unlocking the next level. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, perhaps, and that's just a, co- a constant, an infinite. Yeah, we're creating the next phenomenon. <laughs> we're just the next sprout but as far i mean this is i mean we're talking the at the forefront of all science like the smartest people in the world are talking about you know the origins of the universe and full theories of everything string theories and all these crazy shit that we can you can read about it's like what i at the, what i said at the start of the case file you, you can talk about this stuff and be like oh, yeah i know it no we <laughs> have fucking no idea but what it's, what a, what I kind of came across in our brief research we did is the universe in some ways is fractal and in some ways which we witness is just it seems to be it can't be fractal it like hits a wall and I can't go any farther but what I found as far as <clears throat> they call it dark matter halos that surround every galaxy we don't don't really know a lot about them so we know like this like dark energy that's keeping everything together. We had to make, they had pretty much had to make this energy up or something, right, Dan? Like they had to, they were like, there's it's a like, force like out a there that must holder. exist. Yeah, it's just, we know it's like, there's, there's something, something there. Here. We know that there's nothing there, so there must be something there, kind of. It's like, yeah. 
essentially. Yeah, so because they know this force is there, and dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of the universe. Yeah. Only 5% of what, uh, what we consider matter, the suns and all the elements that follow, 5%. So they've had to make these placeholders. We know that we know it's there because there has to be something there in our mind, right? But, so what I found is the dark matter halos, which are surround every galaxy, they seem to be fractal and corresponding to the strength, the gravitational strength to the size of the other galaxies. So in that in that matter, like dark energy seems to be fractal. And what was I came across the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which was back in like 2000s, mm -hmm. which kind of like mapped the universe. And their conclusion that physical matter, matter that we see, may seem fractal to a point, but must have where it breaks down. But that leaves it open to the dark energy portion being that could be, that could be the fractal nature of the universe. What we see, like the matter we see eventually has a point where it doesn't, is not fractal, but the actual stuff that makes up the universe that we don't know anything about could be fracked. Did that make any sense? <laughs> of, of the large scale surveys that we've done using things like background microwave, microwave uh, radiation and stuff like that. And we've, we've looked out into the galaxy and, and seen parts that even though we haven't seen all of it from, you know, the, the, the universe is mind boggling huge, like mind bogglingly on top of mind bogglingly to the 10th power to the 32nd power bogginly huge. And, um, but from the large scales, but for yes, but we, you're not moving. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh man. You've been fractal, you buddy. Fractal, buddy. You got fractaled. Absolutely. Back. No sense. So, <laughs> so little sense that Braden's computer had a meltdown. Yeah, yeah. shut everything down. You absolutely it's fractaled my fractal brain. Yet again, this is two Braden's computer. Sent it through the internet. Destroy your computer. Fractal the yeah. signal. Well, that's a, that's the see exactly. That's because I'm living in a fractal universe. The second you fractal my brain, you fractal obviously. You're connected. Exponentially fractal. Yeah, right, the whole You've thing. You've broken through the wall. My computer. Yeah. <laughs> now everything. <laughs> destroyed <laughs> but to me like that when i when i read that that we don't really know much about dark energy we can it seems like in right in our understanding right now in this age 2023 when we're recording this if you're listening back to this in 500 years for some reason we're still alive on the internet sweet what happened we would like to know but right now it seems like our universe the observable like the uh, we call matter doesn't seem to be fractal at a, to a point you can say like electrons orbit the nucleus of an atom and similar to a star with planets orbiting and then similar to all those solar systems orbiting a black hole that's kind of similar but it's not it doesn't seem infinite that way but if you go with the dark energy version that those pockets between the dark halos around all galaxies are similar depending on the size of the galaxy, that could be fractal. In terms of the observable universe, uh, what we've seen is that fractals work to a certain scale. Uh, like I mentioned before, a lot of scientists uh, disagree with the idea that the atoms themselves are fractals, that they can display certain fractal qualities uh, at certain points of when, when they get excited. Uh, at certain levels, at certain energy levels, they can display that. And and then also like in their formation of like crystals and things like that. Um, but like the atoms, is, atoms themselves have never been considered fractal. Uh, when you get out to the big, big universe and we, um, you know, the universe that is mind-bogglingly, bogglingly large mind mon, mind boggingly i've been drinking I guess mind so boggingly mind large. Large. to boggingly mind to boggingly mind to boggingly yes uh you know mind boggles yeah. on boggles to the 30 to yeah. 30 second power of boggles plus plus c <laughs> plus c squared um it, it seems that the the general 
universe it favors homogeneity like it, it is uh from what we've done of large-scale surveys of the universe you know uh, utilizing uh, stuff like a like a surveys of like cosmic uh, microwave background radiation uh and hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.